Today I'm showing you how you can download Meteor Hat Client from Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.2. You want to head over to Meteor's official website, which is linked somewhere near the top of the description, together with my Discord server. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, if you scroll down a little right over here, you'll find the downloads. Now, as you can see, the latest official release is for 1.20.1, .1, but there's a perfectly accessible dev build for 1.20.2. Do keep in mind that because we're using a dev build, some issues such as crashing um, or other bugs may arise, but in theory, it should just be fine to use. Now, do keep in mind that to be able to use Meteor, you will need Fabric Loader for 1.20.2 installed on your Minecraft launcher. And if you don't have that or want a tutorial in general, then I will leave a tutorial on how to get exactly this down in the description below. Anyways, as you can see over here, I have the Meteor client in my downloads. Now I can press the Windows and R key at the same time, and then type in a percentage sign, app data, just like that, and then another percentage sign. Then hit enter or click on OK to continue. Then what you want to do is enter this folder called .minecraft and there should be a mods folder right over here as well and you want to go right into that. Then right from my downloads I can drag in the Meteor Client mod and inside of this folder you will find any mods that you already have. Um, and now if you do experience crashing later on Probably the first thing that you want to do is just remove any of the other mods you have in here. That should fix some crashes that you may experience. Now once that's been done, you can open up your Minecraft launcher. Make sure you have Fabric selected for 1.20.2 and you can click on play. And now as you see, once we've loaded up Minecraft, that you can automatically able to see that Meteor is enabled. If you don't have this, you did something wrong and you know, feel free to join my Discord server for help or just ask in the comments. Anyways, we can just head over to single player, I'll open up a random world, and I'll show you guys how this works. If you want me to make a detailed and in-depth tutorial on how Meteor works, then let me know down in the comments, but for right now, I'm just quickly and briefly going to show you. So to open up the real menu, what you want to do is press on the right shift. And as you can see over here, that is going to open up this entire thing. Here we have the modules selected. Um, those are going to be selected by default. And here, you, as you can see, there are menus. Um, on this one, as you can see, you can actually scroll. So there is more to this than you might think, although it's really only two things. Um, anyways, to enable something, what you want to do is click on it as you can see right over there, to disable it you want to click on it again. Um, you can right click on things as I just did and that'll open up this little menu right here and that'll allow you to fully customize um, whatever you want to do. You can click on escape to close that, you can click on escape to close this menu or you can click on right shift to once again close up the menu. As you can see there is also a search bar here which is by default selected so if you want to deselect it to do stuff then just click anywhere on screen. Um, as you see over here, I can search for stuff. Now up top over here, as you see, we have a little bit of a menu so we can check out uh, the config of the client itself, customize our GUI as well as our HUD. Um, we can also check out our friends, use or create macros, check out our profile as well as baritone. But as you can see, you can customize this client to your exact needs, allowing you to bypass certain stuff if you know what settings are needed. Anyways, most things here, especially these, should be pretty self-explanatory and user-friendly as well. If you want a quick, you know, brief description of what each hack is, then you can right-click on it to access, you know, the, um, customization menu and up the very top you will find a little description of what exactly it does. Anyways, you can also actually favorite these to keep them in a separate section as you can see right there and for the rest that is basically it. If you do have any further questions, stuff like that, then make sure to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.